the gentle giants are turning into rainbow giants. This time of year, some eucalyptus trees shed their bark, exposing their colourful inner layers. While shedding, the trees are more sensitive. A bird's beak or scratch can cause them to bleed. This stage of the gentle giant's life cycle gives me much food for thought. When undergoing change, it is important to take extra good care of oneself. And spending time with the gentle giants is one way I nourish my body, mind and spirit. Little by little, the spirit of Christmas is animating the parlour of the dollhouse. This week I'm setting my mind to decorating the table. I've already made a Victorian style centrepiece and you can learn more about how I made this in my Substack membership. I don't know about you Wonder Weavers, but I find some of the Victorian traditions around Christmas inspiring. I do love that families that could afford to do so made items especially for the occasion. They added their own personal touch to the holiday. This week I set the task of making Christmas crackers and Christmas napkins or serviettes. So I'm going to make the crackers first and I'm using a range of collage papers and also Italian crepe paper, white and green in colour. I start by cutting out a rectangle from white paper. I then use this as a template and cut out a second rectangle, but this time from Italian crepe paper. And then with the help of a coin, I cut out a circle from Italian crepe paper. Then to create an uneven and decorative edge, I cut the circle with my pinking shears scissors. I then cut the circle in half. Then with PVA glue I glue the rectangles together. Then Along one end I glue one half circle and then I glue the second one opposite it.
To imitate a friction strip, I glue a short piece of red embroidery thread. And then I add a little gift, a round bead as a marble. I roll the paper as tightly as I can. I dab a little PVA glue along the short end. For decoration, I then tie along each end embroidery thread, which will act as imitation ribbon. I also decorate the cracker with small pieces of gold and red paper. Next I'm going to make serviette or napkin rings. I start by wrapping a rectangular strip of gold paper around a pencil. I then glue a thin piece of white ribbon onto the golden ring. While the ring is drying, I make the serviettes or napkins. Now, Wonder Weavers, I'm going to use Italian crepe paper for my napkins. And this is because I couldn't find in my art supplies a piece of fabric that I wanted to use. And as you can see, Wonder Weavers, I've simply cut a rectangular piece of white crepe paper and glued lace trim to its long sides. I then cut an almond shape from green Italian crepe paper and twist it in the middle to make two leaves. I glue the leaves to the ribbon and then three paper berries. Once completely dry, I remove the rings from the pencil. and then place them on the serviettes. With Cordelia's help, Mrs. Prickle is setting the table. Thank you for watching Wonder Weavers. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget that you can connect with me on other platforms, including Substack. All of my details are in the description. Until the next time, 
Take care, stay well, and don't forget to play. Adios. Ciao. No, I'm sorry, dear Cordelia. You can't pop just one cracker. We have to wait until Christmas dinner.